The purpose of the 20-meter rushes is to assess the participant's ability to move quickly over short distances while changing body position every 10 meters. This common military task is directly related to escaping to cover. The participant must start by lying on the floor in the prone position at one end of the 20-meter course. The participant will lie facing the opposite end, with their shoulders and hands behind the start line and both hands raised off the floor. The participant remains in the starting position until you give the go command. You will count aloud three, two, one, go, while starting the clock on the go command. The participant gets up off the floor and sprints to the 10-meter line. If the participant has a false start, it will not constitute an attempt on the task. You will reset the clock, and the CAF member will return to the start position behind the start line. As the member approaches the 10-meter line, the participant touches one foot on or over the line, and then gets down into the prone position, perpendicular to the line, with shoulders and hands facing forward, on or behind the line. This is referred to as the hand release. The participant must then get up and sprint another 10 meters to the 20-meter line. At the 20-meter line, the CAF member touches one foot on or over the line and then gets down into the prone position, perpendicular to the line, with shoulders and hands facing forward, on or behind the line. The participant will then perform another hand release. Once they have completed their second hand release, the member will then get up, turn around, and sprint back to the 10-meter line. The participant repeats these steps until they have covered four 20-meter laps and completed seven hand releases total, not including the start position. When the participant's foot is on or crosses over the start line after completing 80 meters, you will stop the clock and record their time to the nearest tenth of a second. The pass criteria is 51 seconds or less. A time of 51.1 seconds or higher means that the participant did not meet the standard. Upon completion of the task, the member will receive a mandatory rest period of five minutes, but no more than eight minutes before the next task. The participant must adhere to the following guidelines during the 20-meter rushes. During the hand release, the member must touch the line with their foot, have hands and shoulders on or behind the line, perform a hand release. If the participant does not follow any of these protocols, you will cue the participant to correct the error prior to continuing. Additionally, the member is not permitted to dive or slide into the prone position or at the finish line. They must move to and from the prone position with control. If diving or dropping to the prone position occurs, you will immediately stop the participant. The force evaluator will retrain the CAF member on the correct protocol and then restart the evaluation after a mandatory minimum five-minute rest period, but no more than eight minutes. This will not constitute an attempt at the evaluation. In the event that a participant does not meet the 20-meter rush's minimum physical fitness standard, the following steps are to be taken. The member will reattempt the task a maximum of one time after a mandatory five-minute rest period but no more than eight minutes. This must be done prior to the next task. If unsuccessful on the second attempt, the member must reattempt the force evaluation after proper supplementary physical training program according to the directive DAOD 5023-2. Force evaluators must encourage participants who did not meet the 20-meter rush's minimum physical fitness standard to complete the entire evaluation. If the participant is unsuccessful, the force evaluator must ensure that the appropriate supplementary physical training program documentation, including D&D's 279, are completed during the debrief at the end of the force evaluation.